A sellout crowd is expected at Jadwin Gymnasium tonight for the first time since December 2021. Coming up next, the pin. Good looks for Princeton thus far, just haven't been able to convert. Nice look down low to Pierce, an easy layup for Caden Pierce to get Princeton. about Tyler Perkins in the open, but don't sleep on Sam Brown, averaging 11 points this year, and he has the ultimate green light. Caden Pierce drops in three. So, in the lead. Outside, corner three by Pierce, money. Caden Pierce hits the three-pointer. In the heart and soul of this team for Penn. Asked to do a lot with injuries, as you see a big time drive by Xavier Lee. Get to his second win, my guy. <laughs> so being able to actually practice and get out in games, I think is what puts you in deep physical level. All net from Xavier Lee. 12-25 left to go first half. Pull up from Lee, got it. And a foul as well away from Lee. The bucket will count. Good recognition right there by Lee. Could have been a pick and roll, maybe even a dive option right there for Huggins. And as he's rolling to the basket, bumper comes down. It's just a little for them to be able to pull out a big time dub against the Villanova Wildcats earlier this year. A long three by Zinowski. Tough sledding down low for Laskowski. Lee tries a three. Money. Damian Lee plants another three, and it's a 26-22 Princeton lead. To give the Quakers a four-point lead. Smith going to beat the press with a scoring mentality. Damian Lee goes back. That is not a shot Spinoso normally takes. That's his 12th three-point attempt of the year. He's only made one of them. Lee all the way into the rim and one for Xavier Lee. So tough. Good recognition. And again, just a glimpse of daylight right there. And the body control is what separates him. The ability to understand where the health defense is and move that basketball accordingly, but also finish through the contact. Right in that Ivy play of the year conversation. No doubt about it. Slacker will launch. No good. And that closes it out. Princeton wins it 77 to 70 over Penn. Has a familiar ring to it from last season. The tie joining us 22 points, 10 rebounds, a second double double. You're getting used to these double doubles, man. <laughs> Yeah, that was a crazy game. I didn't, I didn't realize there was that many rebounds, but yeah, we, we were scrapping the entire time, so it was great. Before we get to the actual breakdown of the game here, how about the fans here? The first sellout at Princeton since 2001. That has to be such a special moment for you and your teammates. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, all the support. I've never seen this many people in Jadwin we'll ever. It's just so loud. It's, it's great. It's so, so fun, so easy to play in an atmosphere like this. And we're grateful everyone's coming out. Hopefully, you know, we'll see another big crowd next weekend. You really kick things off with uh, your scoring and attacking, but multiple efforts from teammates Martini, Pierce, Peters, and Alaco. How is it having that at your disposal, different players to be able to step up in different instances? Awesome. I mean, you know, Zach, Zach and Blake going to halftime, we say just keep shooting, you know. Um, they're going to fall eventually, and you, you see what happens when, when we stick to what we know, and they, they were awesome for us in the second half. And, you know, even just Zach and Kate crash, crashing the glass gives us so many more uh, opportunities. So, so it's, it's great when we're all clicking like that. How about your team defensively? It, it seemed like early on Penn had kind of found themselves offensively, but the Princeton defense was able to put the clamps on down the stretch. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, just sticking to what we know, sticking to our coverages and, and just talking. It's, it's really loud in here, so just feeding off that energy and, and just, you know, getting down. You know, that, that game kind of went down to the wire, and, you know, it was just, it was just you know, getting stops in the end, and we would trust our offense on the other end. One of the words that Coach Henderson uses a lot in describing seeing you guys play is joy, that you guys play with a lot of joy. How much joy did you have scoring those 22 points during the course of this game in a big rivalry contest? So much fun, so much fun. It's, it's just a privilege to be out here, and, and it's fun doing it with my brother. So, you know, it's a great time always. Another double-double for Xavier Lee, his second career double-double, and a win for Princeton. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Xavier Lee and the Tigers win it 77-70. And Xavier Lee is the player of the game.